I almost dropped my ice. I almost dropped my ice. Fitting for this predicament we're in. Herman Hardin has become a pack leader. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Now I will get your name added to our little welcome and end screen for next time. And uh, I will be sending some early screenshots your way. <laughs> Wizzy Cat, Silver Fox, Heather G. Who else do we have here? Spicy Beans, Primal Gamer, Get Gaming, Jacob White. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hello. Ho, ho, ho. What did I miss, bro? Nothing. <laughs> we just got started. I almost, like, spilled my ice all over the place. As a matter of fact, I'm going to grab... I'm gonna grab a vitamin water right now. And we're gonna see what kind of mischief we can get into here. I mean, I know you guys aren't necessarily liking this Christmas build too much, but I'm still having a pretty good bit of fun. And I'm not ready to jump back into Suyana just yet, technically. So let's just bear with me till we get past Christmas and then we'll go back into Suyana. There. Now I am kind of topped off here. <laughs> Mischief, yay! Heather, you know you always got to stick around for a little bit of S. Dan mischief. Yeah, Heather, I usually like, I'll put like a documentary of Queen Elizabeth II or something on and leave it playing like out in the living room. And that little bit of background noise, sometimes it just seems to have... I can't go to sleep in a completely quiet house for some reason. Like, I have to have kind of something going on in the background. Or I kind of make up things in my head and hear things. And um, I just can't get to sleep. Wizzy Wiz Cat, how, it's, how is it going, buddy? Oh, Herman, what do you think of our, uh, what do you think of our new little improvised ice skating rink here? <laughs> Pick your skates up. We've got our frozen pond. And they kind of tricked me into building a frozen waterfall yesterday. Uh, so <laughs> we, do, we do have a waterfall in this build. Oh, as a matter of fact, let me get you all some, hold on, Stan... Stand tight right there. I'll get you some little background Christmas music going again. I found some good ones. It's just like instrumentals. Should probably hear that in just a sec. It's like an hour and five minutes worth. So, yeah. Help get us in the mood a little bit. <laughs> to quote Bold, that lit up frozen waterfall is a panty dropper. <laughs> oh, Herman says need Snoopy in the gang. You know, I don't even know what to focus on tonight. Um, this is what I was showing them on the video. Check this out, guys. What I'm going to do is let me... Hold on one moment, though. It's my little... Hold on. I'm going to stop testing and then start it again and let you guys kind of see this come through town kind of slow. And I think you guys are going to like this. This isn't the final. I just want, I just kind of did this as a test to see how kind of close I could get to the path. And But check this out. We're going to have a little miniature train actually come through the town when we're done. Like we'll have it weave 
all in throughout the town. Maybe do a little crosswalk somewhere. Isn't that going to be cool? Especially when people get on it. So yes, the little train will be turning and like curving its way through town. <laughs> yeah, a little older trolley line. Arthur Morgan, what's up, partner? Oh, Heather, you didn't get to see this. I added this off camera. But look at these little sapling trees. I added, like, I put them down, and then I grabbed the little, spe uh, the little uh, festive spruce, and I just kind of sunk them into those trees, and it looks like they're just kind of lit around the pond. That is cool. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Like, eventually, if we work the train kind of up a little overpass, like up the hill, and kind of have it go over the waterfall. <laughs> yeah. So I was thinking tonight we could work on us another nice little custom house. Oh yeah, Herman, look, we've got Rudolph out here leading the pack. So they're still trying to, they're kind of getting stuff ready. It's not quite Christmas yet, but they might be doing some little practice runs. <laughs> So yeah, this all started as like just a little Santa Claus little kind of workshop house cabin and it kind of just morphed into a Christmas village neighborhood build. <laughs> Still really fun though. This is the little inn over here. One of the little inns. I mean, I know we can have multiple, but this is kind of just the first little one we started. Thought you guys would like that. Hey, Holly! Holly is back in the building. <laughs> so let's see if this, I kind of want this house, however we do it. Let me get this long grass gone for a moment. Yeah, thank you, Arthur, for stopping by. Holly, too. So let me... I want to get this raised just a hair. I know I've got you all here kind of late. It's already 849. So... We kind of need to get rolling a little bit, don't we? <laughs> Holly said, yep, was not going to miss another one. Well, it's okay, you know. Holly's like, the only thing about missing an S-Dan stream is you don't, like, you don't know how much you're going to miss. <laughs> There's so much that goes on and happens. Daniel Sexton's back. You know what I want to, you know what I could do here? Like to go up to this little, just kind of like Victorian little Main Street house. I could do a cool little set of stairs that go up to it. Or like they go up to the front porch. Mm -hmm. 
not very safe in the winter time, but uh, you know. <laughs> Daniel Sexton's here. <clears throat> if I could have anything for Christmas, what would I want? Uh, probably just for all of us to finally get back to normal. <laughs> Go to just kind of usher out 2021 if uh, if I could uh, be promised that we're all like trying to get back to normal. So those steps look decent. They may be a little crooked, but you know, it'll be okay. <laughs> Heather will never forget that. If you all want to know what Heather and them are talking about, it's this guy. Uh, we're sorry. They think they think he's being kept up there against his will. <laughs> yeah, when you cross the river Styx, the panda is the one that greets you. I think I could quote Heather and say she said that that panda was nightmare fuel. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Hearing that song, hearing that song makes me want to watch Home Alone again. Yeah, there we go. Old house that has settled over the years and years, and we'll give them like a little rocky front yard. We'll get some bushes and trees out here. Ha <laughs> ha The poor panda. Sorry, little fella. So this little Victorian house will be this little cabin's neighbor. Hopefully they're, hopefully they're friendly neighbors. So, uh, some people have been telling me, um, Claire and, uh, I forget who else, um, have been asking, like they've been wanting me to do some kind of Harry Potter Cemetery, I believe. Is that, isn't that what you all have been saying? Some kind of, I don't, I guess it's, I don't know if it's snow themed or kind of what its deal is, but somebody's been telling me uh, some kind of Harry Potter uh, cemetery Christmas type build. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to Google it. I, like, I have no clue what you guys are even talking about. <laughs> It's from the last book of Harry Potter, and it's snow-themed. Hmm. Yeah, you guys, you're gonna have to, I'm going to have to do some research, because I, I do not know. I just love this fencing so much from this, from the workshop, that... I've kind of just made it the standard for the whole village. Like they all just, they all just use this, this person's fencing. <laughs> yeah, Holly, they said it is some kind of snow themed cemetery type deal. I wouldn't call it Christmassy though. Kind of a bummer scene actually in the movie. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I know it might have been Silver Fox. One of one of you guys are pretty excited about that open world Harry Potter game that they're coming out with. I did see them, but they didn't stick with me about details. Yeah, that's kind of me too. Like I've, eh, you know, I've, I, I, I gen, I, I generally kind of know about them, um, but not enough to like hold too much of a conversation with somebody, like if they're asking me questions about it.
kind of maybe do a little bit of separation with that tree. Mm, may block the street view a little bit though. We'll figure something out. I notice these bushes really hold the snow well. Really fun bush to use in this setting. Ding, 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 ding. The movies are okay, just my mom and aunt are obsessed, so I got pretty burnt out on them. <laughs> I want something here. I just don't want it too overpowering where it's going to... Hmm. That one's okay. I could just stack some of those really cool little... Like these in their front yard. William what's up buddy we are starting a, another house on Main Street so it's gonna be like a like an older like a Victorian style house up on this hill so that's kind of what our focus is here at the beginning trying to uh, trying to just get another house going Williams watching some football. Hey, Basic Builder, what's up, buddy? Oh, yeah, you guys don't forget to enter my little giveaway. I am, uh, I found this really cute little wolf pup puppy, and uh, I am going to give it away um, next Monday. So... If you, uh, all you have to do is go to my latest video, um, actual video, or go to that community post or Instagram and just, um, just do hashtag Wolfpack and I will enter everybody's name in to a random, everybody that, that ends up doing that. I will, uh, I will enter everybody's name into a random generator and on Monday I will pick the winner from that, whatever it spits out and, um. I will get that mailed to you. Really, really cute little, cute little wolf pup. Matter of fact, while I've got you all here, let me, I'll grab a picture of it real quick and I'll throw it up here so you guys can see what I could be sending you. He's a cute little guy. Oh, and you'll get an S. Dan Wolf Night of the Living uh, Night of the Living S. Dan Wolf magnet too if you win. Okay, so let me add image. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This little guy could be making his way to your living room. Doo -doo -doo. I want to try to do these more frequently too because I don't know why I hadn't thought of this in the in the past, but this is just too stinking cool. Okay, let me see here. Okay, let me save it to my desktop, and then I'm going to open it in OBS. Here he is. Check this little guy out. Isn't he stinking cute?
and I'll send you a little card. And he's got a little Santa hat on. <laughs> I thought you guys would like that. <laughs> hey, Cybers. Glad to hop on for a bit. Miss hanging out, even though it's only been a bit. <laughs> yeah, so that is our little guy. You know, this probably wouldn't hurt to actually to even have another one of these across the yard. Whoops. Maybe even back here. Yes, I see a lot of people have kind of mentioned that, like a Harry Potter style graveyard. You know, um, the Harry Potter uh, Christmas pieces are kind of a big deal too to people. Those are pretty popular. So maybe we'll come up with something for my little Harry Potter nerds out there. And you know what, for these stairs, these people probably wouldn't just rely on the street lights. They would probably have their own little personal lights here. Kind of helping, <laughs> helping people up the stairs a little, I'd suspect. Instead of being so dark, especially with all the snow. If you know what I'm saying. We do not need people tripping coming up the steps. <laughs> it's already going to be pretty pretty slick as it is. These little these little builds like this, the yard presentation is pretty important. Cuz you know they live in this little Christmas town, so everybody's kind of in on the the decorating and the, you know, all the fun that that brings. We didn't even decorate outside this year. We were lazy. Next year, I'm doing it big. Like, oh, we're going to do the lights and everything. Da-da! <laughs> <laughs> no lawsuits, remember? <laughs> yes, it's a it's a 2020 thing. Okay, so they are going to have a really pretty little front yard like that that little front little steps came out pretty cool. They've got a little landing section. You know, the only thing I just wonder, I just don't, I don't want to muck it up, but a railing may help or even maybe a railing at the landing if we don't do it all the way up. I mean, I guess you wouldn't have to, but does that kind of railing make it look too commercial? Or does it look okay because it kind of gives them something to hold on to? <laughs> like, you know, before they make their way the rest of the way up. Hmm. 
Yeah, maybe we just put some extra salt. <laughs> Or maybe even one of these other fences would. Hmm. Railings are a little tough to make look right. It always seems with this. Yeah, custom railing. Eh, well, some, maybe it's something we'll look at. Rope fence. Yeah, iron railings would be cool. Let's see. You know what I could do? Line their little fence up too with some lighting. Maybe even these little string lights. Mm -hmm. Let's see, a line to surface. This music kind of sounds like the new music from, have you guys seen the new version, the newer version of uh, True Grit with Jeff Bridges? That's what this kind of sounds like. A little bit. <laughs> My dad wants to like disown me because I said the new version of True Grit. I think it's like better than the John Wayne version. <laughs> So I don't know if my dad will speak to me for this Christmas. <laughs> I just like it better. I mean, John Wayne's version was cool, but that Jeff Bridges, the way that uh, the Coen brothers, just incredible. Can't bet against them. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> A horrible glurp. Ah, uh, you're not alone, Warble Glurp. Sometimes even my notification doesn't go off that I'm streaming. <laughs> 
oh my gosh, Holly, you've got to give it a, you got to try to give it a chance. It's, it was, it was pretty good. Let's just take a look here, see if anything catches my attention in the Arctic pack before we actually probably start on the front porch or the foundation of the house. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, Holly, I'm going to do one of your, I already told Casey, I'm going to do one of your Irish traditions this year. Typically an, an old Irish tradition at midnight on New Year's, New Year's Eve, they open the front door of their house and that is supposed to let 2020 out and you let 2021 in. So Casey's like, we're going to open the door, the garage, the windows, I'll open anything we, we can to... So yeah, that is going to be our, our Irish tradition this year. <laughs> I watched, uh, I watched, I started watching, um, remember that movie with Jeff Bridges? It was like the seventh son of the seventh son. I don't think I made it all the way through that. <laughs> you got to do the yodeling pickle, though. <laughs> Open everything. Let me, you know what I need to do, though, real quick before I really get involved with this? Let me just look up. I just kind of want some kind of little starting point. I'm just going to pull up just a little bit of, see if I can come up with some good piece of art. These are all kind of like way too big kind of for what we're trying to do. I don't even necessarily know if it has to be like quote unquote Victorian more so like Main Street, like, you know, old like Main Street style house. Let's see here. Ding, ding, da, ding. Um, don't necessarily want to do brick again. Because I kind of want to switch this up a little bit. Ooh, you know what we could do? I could do a little front porch with some columns. Hmm. Yeah, let me try that a minute. I'm going to start, I'm going to start the little front porch over here off to the, to the left. And it would be a little wooden front porch. Well, 
Maybe the front porch could be concrete. Painted brick, plaster. I could do plaster. It's not going to be a huge front porch, but The front door is kind of going to go right there, and this will just be the almost like the living room area. We'll have to get a tree up in the window. I love I love during Christmas when you like if you're driving around looking at people's lights and stuff. Um, when people put their tree in the main living room window, I always thought that was cool. Hey, what's up, Bold? <laughs> All bad things, I presume. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so what I want to do is let me look at the little support beams. Dun, 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 dun. I kind of like that limestone column. That was okay-ish. Dun, dun, dun. You guys are dashing through the snow with me. Ah, <laughs> oh, poison blades back. Poison Blade, what have you been into today, bud? Mischief? Secret projects you're not telling us about? Okay, now this next, this little top level is going to be almost like an open balcony up here. So let me just see. Dirtle bone, bone. 
Could go with like a really, really light green with the green and white. Maybe offset this a little over the entrance way. And then remember too, we're kind of going to want the glow. Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll do the glow from this main room and this can just be kind of normal over here. But I kind of like that stained wood option. Is this it? Yes. We're going with like the really, really light green, almost white. Then this is going to be the little balcony. Yeah, a little porch swing. That'd be cool. I just do not have a lot of balcony slash fencing options, do I? I do not, I do not, I do not. And you know what I think this can be? This can almost just be like a, a balcony feature, but there's actually not going to be a door up here. It's going to be... Um, a couple windows, I think. So it's kind of like just a, a porch cover that kind of serves as a fake balcony. Hence why we can kind of have the balcony railing so low. Do, do, do. And then we'll continue this out in front front right here because this is going to be where the main door is down there. We don't need to go all the way across because that's going to be closed off. Okay, let's see if we can find us a a good little door for this house. And then we'll try to rail off the front porch. Boom, boom, boom. Wish we could change the color of the doors.
I don't like these colors very much. But that'll probably work. That's some nice kind of warm wooden doors. <laughs> A little off. That's okay, though. You know, I don't really have a lot of window options either, do I? <laughs> We'll do the little fake windows over here, and we'll do the glowing, real Christmas windows over here. And we need to let there be light. No, I'm not going to do the inside, just, uh, we're just doing the little outside Victorian. I mean, the little living room area over here will have an inside, but just an immediate little, little inside part. It's going to be a pretty little house up on the hill, isn't it? Especially once we get it decorated and get lights on it and a roof. <laughs> and on the 21st day, Estan said, we need to let there be light. <laughs> and there was light. So we're going to need to make this living room look a little bigger. So this is going to have to come over a little farther. Can't have the living room looking that small. All is bright. All is warm with you guys hanging out with your old buddy Estan. Christmas of 2020. You could be doing anything, but you're sitting here hanging out with me. That's pretty stinking cool through the power of the internet. Okay, we've kind of got our living room staged. probably do is change this out for wood now they kind of know what's going on here <laughs> bolt said I love that this is just a straight up whole town now <laughs> I can just imagine walking through the town with silver beds playing my brains put a connection with this in the polar express scene with the song <laughs> yeah 
I mean, I know, Bold, like, look what we've turned this into, like, going down through here. This is going to be like, that's what I was telling them yesterday. We're going to have to just, I don't know if I'm going to get this done by, like, Christmas. This is just going to probably have to go on into January for a little bit. Because we have just got a lot going on. This is a, this is a lot to tackle, isn't it? A little Christmas town. Fun, though. Where's my little wood floors? I like these. These. Okay, now let's get some glass worked up. Material. I don't know what I'll use, but I know it's got to be glass. Maybe I could even do like some... I haven't done this style yet. I could frame those up pretty cool. Get a nice glow going through there. Maybe actually I'll bring these to the middle. Frame it up like that. <laughs> oh yeah, Bold has not Bold has not seen the train yet. We started one, Bold. Check this out. I've got it going through the town real cool and slow. Bold, check out how adorable this is going to be with this little train rolling through the town. Is that not gonna be cool when the people are on it? And we'll just weave it all through the town. And see, I was able to sink the track Kind of like right down to the pavement so we could get it kind of coming through there. But yeah, we'll have it like twisting and turning through the town. So, yes. And what we will do, because you don't want these windows, we're gonna we're gonna almost like de-stress. We're gonna distress these windows a little bit once I kind of get a little more of this rolling. <clears throat> Frame it up with wood. Um, there's a lot of different things we can do to, you know, give us that older Main Street look we're going for.
And what has not <clears throat> steered me wrong yet with this glow, I will take this again. just giving a perfect glow. <laughs> it's Dana Claus. <laughs> yeah, William, you know, whatever works. <laughs> See, down here for the porch, I almost need... It's like William said, I almost need a good iron. You know, but we just do not... Just do not really have it. We've kind of got this. I. I may be able to make work, but that might stick up through the living room. Of course, I've got to close that, too. That may work. Just kind of hide it. <laughs> Stan Claus is coming to town. That's right. I 
I don't know, would we probably done with when I'm done with this house? Probably, I don't know, we'll probably call it a night. It's already almost 10. You believe we've already been building for an hour? What, what happens to time when we get in here to start this? You know, it's like an hour goes by in like eight minutes. Crazy. Do we have any kind of recolorable beam? Because if I could make this white. So see, that's just wood. That one's wood. Painted. Here we go. If I could make these beams just white. I think we'd be on to something here. Watch your eyes. Green looked a little better. Looks a little better at night, doesn't it? <laughs> Kind of like not pale enough in the daytime. I thought we were writing Christmas as Dan Jingles. <laughs> Bold was um, yesterday. She was she was typing me up good shirt ideas, <laughs> stuff we could put on merch. That was funny.
Yeah, this green kind of stands out a little too much. That looked better at night. <laughs> Joe Keem said, so is the JWE shirt coming? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> There's lots of fun stuff we could come up with. I mean, Bold was even talking about we could do, like, you could do an evil panda one. Let's see how the ice rink looks in the day. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It's got that little sheen, like it's ready for some ice skaters. I feel like someone needs to make a horror style movie trailer about how S10 didn't get a key. Yes, that's another good one. I subbed to S Dan and all I got was this waterfall. <laughs> That's classic. I feel we have to make that happen. <laughs> Him Night Shyamalan. Yeah, you know what, William? I used that on the waterfall back there, too. I probably could dot that around, give it like a little misting almost effect. Yes, yes. House doing a good job of blocking the snow right there, isn't it? <laughs> well, Ted, I definitely feel like they'd film a cheesy Hallmark movie here. Of course, bold somebody like somebody'd have to come in and like save the inn. <laughs> or like stop the ice cream parlor here from going under. <laughs> oh, so see you later, Arthur. We'll probably um we'll probably get back in here probably tomorrow evening. It'll be after, um, it'll be after 6 p.m. But yeah, I'd say we'll get in here tomorrow, probably. Ding, ding. The weather out here is kind of frightening, though, isn't it? <laughs> I 
Hold on, I need smaller. Ice cream, ice cream. Yeah, some romance that needs saving. <laughs> hmm, I could have swore we had like a little... Didn't we have like a little tiny piece of... roof trim? Like enough for me to fake a small little kind of awning over this? Remember I use it sometimes, I wonder if it's in wall coverings. I use it sometimes at the base of buildings. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Is this it? Oh, that's... Oh, here it is. Corrugated sheets. I think those look better kind of with their own little shutter instead of a big one that goes all the way across. Good tidings Heather brings to you with good cheer. Bold's going to make fun of my waterfall, and we'll all have a happy new year. <laughs> Fade to black. See you, Cybris. <laughs> Holly, don't you love me? You love my little tunes, right? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Bold remember last night everybody screamed when I uh when I deleted the waterfall. <laughs> uh, I was like plot twist. You have to admit that was funny. <laughs> last night Drew said to just delete the waterfall and I just went with it. <laughs> Everybody was like, no, no. I played that one up pretty good, though, didn't I? I had you all going. Yep, everybody was not too happy about that one, were they?
kind of don't like those as much up there. What else can I use? Can I... Ooh, this kind of looks craftsman style. I think I like that better. You guys like those craftsman style homes? I think they're pretty cool. There we go. That looks better. Estan is the driver. We're just here for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee drivers suck like shit. Not like Virginia drivers. We're not that bad. Right? Please be right. <laughs> Mr. Tin below. <laughs> I am S Daddy. <laughs> rolls off the tongue good well Herman this kind of like the lighting package and the windows kind of make the house look a little more modern than we intended but it still gives it a cool little Main Street kind of feel so far I kind of like it I have to move that floor in a little bit though Ah, yes, I do. I do need a, I just need an oh daddy shirt. <laughs> yes, daddy. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's the new one. S daddy. You know what the only thing is? I don't know how these people would uh, feel about just these random benches and stuff outside of all their homes. Like, would they really want people, like, hanging out right out here? I guess so. Maybe. Wait, if we keep calling him S Daddy, then he will spiral into an uncontrollable time warp with the moistness is all I can be seen and the toes are left and right. <laughs> does Pam does Panda want to get in on this? Because the old Santa called him Daddy. We're sorry, little fella. Look, Herman, they're all saying like the, the panda looks captured and like Santa's not letting him out of there. But in the daytime, he actually looks like happy and wholesome. See? Look at him now. See, it's like really, really happy. Oh, he's up in the window, really happy. But then something about night, he just kind of, that glow in his eyeballs just kind of flip like, None of you are making it out of here alive. <laughs> this is all a facade. <laughs> you think it's a wonderful Christmas town. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, you guys have given me like a bunch of shirt ideas for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nightmare at night, yes. <laughs> uh, 
Eh, you know how it goes. <laughs> The panda may be taking our soul, our souls, but at least it is a pretty town. <laughs> it's, it's Bold's pretty Hallmark town. Oh man, why did I just click off of that? That sucked. Guys, I don't even know if we're going to get this house done tonight. But at least you all will have the kind of like the feel of what's going on. See, so that's what I'm saying too with these builds. Um, I mean, one house has taken us an hour and 32 minutes. <laughs> yeah, this is why we can't stream this late. S Dan becomes daddy. We've got a Satanist panda over here. <laughs> oh well. Heather said, this would have taken me five days. <laughs> it was a night before Christmas and all through the town, not a creature was stirring due to the panda's demonic frown. Annabelle Panda. Hey, that waterfall was absolutely necessary, though, wasn't it? Can this be sensibly used here, or am I going to need a different, a different option? Mm, that can probably work. Wow, this went way more modern than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Maybe next, on the next house, on the next episode of This Old House, I saw a meme the other day. It was like, um, it showed like this, this man and this woman and they were like on HGTV and the, and the, the things like the, above the dude, it said, um, I, connect, I collect napkins at parks. And the wife was like, I catch butterflies, budget 6.2 million. It's like, what the? Where do these people live? Where does this come from? Yeah, I connect, I collect napkins at parks. And Hearst was like, I catch butterflies. What's their budget? 2.8. <laughs> I know you've seen those before, Heather. You're like, what the? <laughs> How? Good tidings for Herman and a happy new year. S. Daddy brings all of you some good cheer. <laughs> Good tidings for Christmas. So let's see, I kind of... 
Can you come back this way for us just a little? Yes. Uh oh, Herman is getting him, is going to set up a dome home. That's cool. Dome home. <laughs> yeah, instead of y'all want to see a dead body, y'all want to see a waterfall? <laughs> you got to come over and see this. That stands building waterfalls over here in this frozen Christmas town. Yeah, they can't stop him. He just started building it. S. Danta comes into your house and installs a waterfall, even where it's not wanted. <laughs> Get out of here! Uh, there's some dude building a waterfall in the garage. <laughs> Says, calling himself S. Danta. <laughs> Get out of here now. You know what would be cool for this? This would be cool to have some bows. Let's see if we can... Let's see what I got here. Is this the little one? I can get behind that. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> well, it helps if you don't care if you... <laughs> It helps if you don't care if you die. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bold is in a tough business. Can't be scared. <laughs> If you're scared, you're not going to last long. <laughs> or the Herminator. 
<laughs> That's a good one. Guys, I promise I will not keep you here much longer, but I just want to kind of get this roof done, at least get the kind of like our idea done. And then when we come in tomorrow, we can start on this and kind of finish this house up and then probably start working on that carousel. Remember, we have actually not started on like that's what we were going to do this episode remember <laughs> sorry but we'll get on that tomorrow we'll get it started we should have fun we shall have fun <laughs> yeah, just give me eight more minutes, I swear. Two hours later. <laughs> Foxy said, S. Dan, you should make the Mount Crumpet from the Grinch in the background. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, we gotta have to try that. It could go forever. I'll just be over here, headphones in, cackling and crying over S Daddy, having my family think I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> well, you all can't help it. <laughs> what are they watching in there? Oh, some guy calls himself S Daddy. <laughs> Building some waterfalls or something weird. It's just a phase they're going through. Bold's like, I don't even have the energy to explain this to my family. <laughs> Nobody would get it. I hope people appreciate the detail on this house. We've spent a we've spent a while on this, haven't we? Every time you say "as daddy," it kills me. Yeah, you kind of got to say the "daddy" part, like with some, you know, like some baritone. Just it's got to be deep. <laughs> oh, daddy. Eh, uh, good times, good times. <laughs> I 
<laughs> normally if I say something like that in the uh, like in the in the D and D session, <laughs> duct tape always goes Jesus. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. You're freaking crazy. I'm just trying to bring you all good tidings with cheer. Yeah, yeah, you imagine like somebody that didn't get to watch tonight and they're just like going to watch it like in the morning. Like they're just like loading it up with their coffee. <laughs> Did they just say S, Daddy? Leaf, you've made it just in time to see what we've gotten into. We're building a little, what was supposed to be a unmodern Victorian style house. Uh, but it didn't, it didn't work out that way. But we're cool, we're cool. Marvel said, welcome to S Daddy Hell. <laughs> uh. <laughs> like, doesn't that sound like almost just vulgar? Like, hi, Daddy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, sorry, Leaf. Uh, forget the S Daddy stuff. Uh, you want to see the new waterfall? Uh, there it is. <laughs> uh. So, Leaf, I have gained some new nicknames. <laughs> I have transcended S Dan and Sedan. <laughs> you may call me daddy <laughs> or rest daddy, whatever you prefer. Auntie, please shout out my name as Malswangmat Luanga. <laughs> I'm your regular viewers from Mizoram, India. Cool. Yes, Sedan was one. Remember, Heather? <laughs> I was, uh, I was Sedan. And that lady that does those um, those blueprint re reviews, she is so stinking nice. Like, she is so sweet. But <laughs> when she reviewed mine, she's like, Sedan? I'm like, you know what? You're so stinking nice. That Yes, I am Sedan. We never fenced off these poor people's yards. I'm already making them live in like perpetual Christmas hell. <laughs> we might as well give them a nice little yard. This kind of needs to come out this way because it's kind of blocking the main window here. <laughs> Suba Drew. Old Drew. I'm just glad he got his glasses. <laughs> now he doesn't have to pretend to see what we're saying.
Yes, Bold is the chief of merchandise here. <laughs> Her brain just comes up with some awesome shirt designs. None of these people are really going to have to mow because I've kind of just overgrown all of their yards. Like, look, no way, no way on earth could these, these people couldn't mow with a team of billy goats. This guy doesn't really have to mow. <laughs> Santa's not mowing nothing in here. Put the stable. Now nah, we're going to have to give the stable a more proper treatment. <laughs> We're going to have to build us like a really cool stable. And like get some animals in here <laughs> one of these years, right? What the fuck is or who is a billy goat? <laughs> you know, you could bring the little billy goats in here to kind of Chew up the little shrubbage where you can't mow. I love goats. I have a goat. Went to the went to get groceries. Came home with a goat. Tried twice to get him a friend, and he murdered them. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not good. And <laughs> Bold's got some murdering goats. Okay, let me head out. My dogs are raising hell outside in their pee fest. Y'all have a good night. Good night, S Daddy. <laughs> night, Holly. <laughs> See you next time. You are not going to get that out of your heads now. S <laughs> <Ask> Daddy. <laughs> Night, Arthur. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, we got this little we got this little front part put up. We will we'll jump back in here tomorrow and kind of decide. You know what I could do real quick before we go? Let me just see what the circle window looks like up there. It kind of kind of looks a little Amityville horrorish, but yeah. So guys, let's go ahead and jump on out of here. It's like freaking ten thirty, um, and we will jump back on tomorrow evening. It'd be after six, I'd say. But uh, we'll jump in, finish this up, and kind of take a look at the little take a look at the little carousel. But you know that was. That was a lot more fun than just kind of plopping in a random blueprint because, you know, just kind of putting our own little our own little spin on it. Still got a lot of fixing up to do, but detailing, but we'll get it. Looks cool down there. Kind of making your way down the street here. Just big old house up here off to your left. Hey, no problem, Leaf. Tomorrow we should stream a little Probably a little earlier. <laughs> Good build, solid, solid stream, very wholesome. You're welcome, Warble. <laughs> You're welcome, Poison Blade. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, fight or flight, you missed it. <laughs> we'll jump back in tomorrow. This is a li our little house at the, at the center part of this street build. Little Christmas house. So yeah, I will hit you all up with the little outro and you guys try to play nice these last five minutes <laughs> and uh, we'll get back at this. We'll get back at this tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Fight or flight, you'll have to come back tomorrow and watch us finish, finish this house up. <laughs> but yeah, appreciate you guys. I am going to going to think about what else we can extend down this road. And I think we'll be cool. We'll start on this tomorrow. <laughs> Catch y'all later. See you, Herman. Thanks for the membership, buddy. I'll have you updated and on the intro and outro screens uh, for tomorrow. So see you guys.
inside this narrow maze We speak but oh nothing We run a separate ways Do you ever think about 